Hello, hope you are doing well and have you practiced something with the previous section, uh, session. In this session, I will go through uh, for some next step of grading before you now we have draw feature lines for the elevation of sea wall and uh, but they are a little bit up from our existing surface so the concept is that that uh, we need to draw grading from our sea wall to existing surface on the back side here and another side of sea wall will be stay vertical so uh, you must need to know a little bit about grading then we yeah, then we will go for grading uh, now i will work uh, with this surface that's why i will not uh, off that and uh, prospect tab have been we will stand prospector tab and here you can see on the home tab we have a panel of grading once you will hover your cursor at the top of any panel it will give you little bit information about that so for the grading you can click and it will give you some more commands like grading creation tools if we want to launch the grading creation tools it will give us a toolbar which have some more uh, commands to manipulate with the grading tools so we have create grading infill infill actually when you will hover your cursor it will tell you that uh, it's also a command which we use to infill any area for example we have wall here and uh, the wall area here inside of our wall if we will not get infill for that area uh, it will show just uh, lines not get will solid so and also will not calculate the cut and fill volume so we when we have draw everything about grading then at the last uh, at the end we will draw and fill also and, uh, and the third one here we have create grading groups so we draw grading in uh, some groups for example is something like site which you now already here we have some site c wall and site one now we are working in site some c wall site which is the name of our site so grading create grading group is also something like that we can put any specific grading into any uh, specific group of grading grading will be show on our drawing uh, same like these uh, surfaces and grading will also a surface say grinding is also a surface which uh, uh, which is our actually proposed elevation of any ground so uh, for now as you can see we have uh, maybe you can't understand little bit that's why i'm doing off this surface but later i will on that because i need to see that accordingly that's okay it will off so now we have a wall here and another wall here this side of a wall will be attached to our existing surface but this one will be stay vertical so for now i will draw grading here along this line so go to the grading and grading creation tools it will open you a uh, toolbar and you can 
be picked up anywhere on your sectory okay so first of all here you can see it's set the grading group so you can select any grading group uh, I want to stay with C wall if you want to make something new you will go here and you can select object in uh, your another site if you have anywhere in your drying area so I will stay with this one and I press OK it will open me a new creating group dialog box which is uh, which will say that what you want to give the name for the group so I will go like seaball one and uh, automatic surface creation yes I want to get surface creation if you will not check you cannot see any surface of uh, your grading so you must need to check that and uh, again use the group name yes uh, I will use the group name and here down we have also some styles like uh, uh, we have for contours so our surface is uh, existing surface so we can choose any other uh, here for existing contours like that but for now as we are going to draw something design surface that's why I will select here cardan cardano design contours so it will give me a different style of contours which will differentiate between uh, existing surface and our proposed surface so when we have uh, two surface or three four five something like that on our drawing and we want to see them uh, different uh, in different style and want to manipulate with them uh, uh, separately then we can use any other style to get familiar with them so here this uh, tessellation spacing so you can leave it it is it's not uh, your if I go for explanation of this option then it will give more time to you and it's not matter much about that so for now I don't need volume based surface uh, but if um, I need and uh, I will do that at the end but if we go with volume surface I will check that and surely I will select surface 1 because it was my existing surface and when we have existing surface and our proposed surface then we can compare these two surfaces to get our volume of cut or fill accordingly so click ok it will open a next create surface dialog box because our grading is also our surface so we must need to uh, check the type of surface which is TIN yes uh, I need to go with TIN and uh, another one is a surface layer you don't need to go with this one I uh, don't need to change anything here for name we already put C wall and description if you have something then you can write something here for description but uh, uh, I believe it it is style I already select this style if you want to change when you will click here the three dot will appear here and you can click and you can get many more style here to change everything about contour here so I will not change for now render material if you want to change something about rendering uh, to look better about contour then you can select any uh, style from here also uh, I will not uh, do them actually so just uh, click OK and now we have another set that target surface yes our target surface will be the surface one which is our existing surface 
description if you want to put something like that here uh, for your memory for your um, uh, history and something about notes then you can put here otherwise leave at it is and press ok again in the third option we have uh, layers so I will not change anything here about layers and I will just you this if civil 3d uh, giving you some layers in any uh, entities to draw them so leave layers at it is he will manage civil 3d will manage uh, appropriately and uh, the four number icon is giving select a criteria set so it's something about that uh, if uh, we have something criteria about grading when we can add here and another one here we have some option about grading which you have already in your drawing maybe if you open any new drawing in civil 3d you have not any of these because uh, they already made they already create some new styles of uh, your grading that's why we have many options here if uh, you open any new drawing you will get just some five and six uh, grading styles here uh, sorry it's not grading style actually it is the type of grading that if we want to go grading from uh, any feature lines to existing surface any feature lines to any distance any uh, just want to any uh, elevation to elevation and something like that we have um, but for now we are going to grade our uh, surface from uh, existing surface so I will uh, select this one surface by slope so uh, I can check great sorry I need to select grade to the surface so it will uh, what it will do actually it will take the height of this uh, my feature line and then he will see that how much I am giving him slope or grade to reach the our existing surface here so it will put some contours to reach them and it will create some surface which will our proposed surface so uh, if I want to make some new type of grading here accordingly uh, according to my uh, company and uh, specifications, rules and regulations of city codes can be um, country codes and uh, so you can create new or you can edit any current selection also. So for now I have uh, don't need to do anything here I will leave at it is for now here we have some more commands these are some commands related to create grading this was just criteria which we was putting to draw our grading but these are some commands to get grading in our drawing for example create grading i will click that and then uh, i will proceed with that but uh, i want to explain something copy create grading we can copy any grading with this command and create transition for example we have two surface and we have some gaps between them so we can use create transition command to match them each other and then we have create infill which i have explained already that we can infill any uh, covered area to make it uh, to get our surface inside that so uh, I need to explain something more edit grading if we want to edit grade and delete grade we can go here and uh, something more here we have command grading volume tools and create detached surface so for volume here we can go another thing on grading creation tool we have grading editor 
if we will open grading editor it will show that grading editor select the point in the grading so in the point when we will select any point it will give us some instruction to follow them to edit your existing grading so here we have another thing elevation editor if we want to change any elevation here it will say select object and when you will select your object it will mark you some point you can see one two three like this and it will show you some station and elevation here for now as i have same elevation on my feature line that's why it's showing same elevation here you can see and that grade everything grade is also zero uh, and grade ahead also zero because i have same elevation on my whole entire line so if uh, it was grading and uh, there was something up down then it will show some grading and you can edit them according to your uh, desired elevation which you want to put there so if you have done with that you will click here and it will edit accordingly here we have some more uh, grading group properties if you want to change something grain grading group you can change the name of everything uh, grading properties if uh, we want to change grading properties like uh, surface style and uh, name layers everything you can get from here so when you will put down this arrow it will give you some uh, that you already have been done with these command that target was surface projection was cut fill slope and search order if you want to change you can do them here something so for now i will go to draw grading for here i will select create grading here and you must need to look at down that what is your command giving you instructions select the feature so we have a feature line and we want to grading here so i will select this feature line remember we need grading also here but that was not joined that's why uh, we will draw separately here we have also two lines uh, so we will draw them later but now i will draw grading here and now you can see here select the grading side side mean this and this you can try uh, select anyone for now i need grading here i will select this and it will say apply to entire length if i want to uh, apply grading on entire length of this line i will select yes if uh, i want to choose some portion of this line i will select no and then it will ask me that select your area where you want to draw grading and i will select starting point and end point then it will go so for now i want to draw entire length press yes so another option will appear cut format if you want to give slope you can put if you want to give grade you can select anyone and then it will ask you for grade or slope value for now i will put uh, slope you can select here or you can write s also and press enter now it will ask you cut slope here you need to put your cut slope if you want to put one in two or one in four one in three something one in one like this then you if you have according to your design you will put something like here i will put uh, if you want to stay with one and two you will just press enter to accept that if you want to put you will write here something like that for example i want to go with one uh, one and three and press enter now it is asking that 
what will your fill format for example here we have not any fill format for our writing uh, uh, of uh, C wall but uh, if, if we are going to create any building area any building outline so uh, we must need to now fill format also so I will go slope with that and you can stay same with fill format also but if you have anything change anything according to your design then you can put accordingly I will put one in three and press enter so you can see here it it has been draw grading so if we want to continue with this command it will ask there it is asking there select the feature so when we will select feature it will uh, get us again same commands to follow them and draw new grading but if you will press escape it will finish your command and now you can see uh, here we have grading when you select uh, your grading it will show you some commands here to manipulate with this and it's showing also same command like our surface because of our proposed surface because it is our proposed surface so if you want to change the style of this grading you can go here to creating properties and uh, sorry you need to go to the uh, surface here i'm sorry and you can select here any another style of your surface to get it better for visualizing So I think it will go for us for now I will go to my surface which is our surface one properties and select so you will go here for surface style and you can select any uh, style for existing surface press ok now you have surface and grading also I want to see them in a object viewer so I need to select this one and another surface of our grading also go to object viewer and now you will see here we have wall So in 3D view you can see we have here our wall which we will draw with feature lines and then now we draw grading here to match our C wall to our existing surface. If you want to change something view here you can go with it. you can analyze that from any angle so now what will the next step press escape to go back your drawing and then now we have two surfaces in our drawing the one is existing surface and another one is uh, our grading which is our proposed surface so I will off again my existing surface and now we have this feature line 
and another feature line here we have I will select my feature line and then you can see here we have add to surface as breadth line so if we want to uh, edit our surface or want to change any slope anywhere in our surface the feature line is a very beautiful tool in uh, civil 3d to get desired elevation in your drawing so i have this wall at the top of c c wall so i want to add as a top of wall so i will go here add to surface as black line it will give me select surface dialog box and show c wall and surface so i want to put that in a c wall because here i have c wall surface but it's not already uh, include with these feature lines in our surface so i want to put them each other to make just a one surface press ok it will give you add back line dialog box you can put any description and you can leave them empty also type should be standard or you can select anywhere anything here i will just go with that weeding factors don't need to apply weeding factors and for distance uh, i don't need any distance here but just you need to know about mid ordinate that if you have some curves in your grading it means uh, mid ordinate mean that it will draw some straight line with your radius of any curve on this distance 0 0.01 if you put here one meter then it will divide them in a one meter so you must need to select minimum value here to draw many lines on your surf, uh, curve and it will give you accurate cut fill volume and uh, area calculations and ev everything about this so you must need to put minimum value here mostly we put 0 0.01 which is minimum volume for video for us so press ok and you see here some changes our surface has been include this feature line into it and now now our boundary line of this surface here so the one contour also here we can see so if i want to select them and go to uh, sorry object viewer you can see now we have proper wall this time I just show our wall but not existing surface that's why you can see it clearly press escape and then go to your existing surface press escape again go to your surface uh, show it again and then select your surface also select your grading and go to the object viewer go to the front and now you can see clearly that here we have our wall C wall so it's the top of our wall but for now as you can see here we have some gaps 
and it's not matching with our surface from the front side so uh, we have some option here to do that just off this one again and again here we have feature line you need to make an uh, offset here with this line for example I was told you that we have option of step offset here you can see step offset and uh, when you select step offset it will tell you specify offset distance or um, size so I will put minimum distance here like 0 0.001 and press enter now it will say specify side of offset this one and uh, again it will ask specify elevation or uh, and different options so i want to give elevation for this offset uh, which is uh, you can put here any uh, elevation here for example it was 29 for our existing surface because I want to put this line on my existing surface press enter and uh, select an object or offset now you can't see your another line because it's just I draw at uh, 0 0.01 which is our minimum value so uh, I don't need drawing uh, polyline uh, sorry feature line on every side I will uh, when you will select your feature line you will go here and uh, you can see the elevation of your feature line 29 29 29 so it's uh, on our surface I will click ok and uh, again I want to put this feature line in our surface go to add to surface as a break line and then yes it will see wall and press ok again leave them at it is press ok and it will open something it will uh, draw some contours here now you can select your surface and go to object viewer again you need to go again and again to your surface so it makes something wrong uh, but we will edit them It just go down so if you get something wrong you can go to the back press it and it will get back to you this feature line I will delete I will draw just uh, polyline quickly As we have open and showing our surface of grading this why is will a little bit a little bit hang out you need to select each corner of your line here where you want to draw your line
actually it's giving us something wrong with our surface because civil 3d uh, will get you some wrong things uh, sometimes like uh, i will show you a thing here we have our retaining wall here but when we put our feature line in our surface it create a boundary of our surface here which we don't need here but we need here so that's why i will uh, get a mac correction with this line also okay so before going to the this uh, with going this line i will just uh, make correction with this boundary line go to your select your surface and then go to data shortcut ah oh, sorry uh, not it will something like extract from surface and extract object i want to extract my poly uh, my boundary line of um, surface so extract here and if you want to extract any major contours and minor you can select but i don't need them now press okay now you can see our line has been extract boundary line if you uh, before we was select this line and it will select all our surface but for now is just uh, selecting our line so go to this grip and catch then put them here okay now your surface boundary line is here but if you want to put if you we if we want to add new boundary line of our surface to make it correct so go to your surface expand this to a space and here you will see in surface c wall sorry and expand this one here you can see definitions and boundary right click press add and you can give the name anything or you can leave it it is mid ordinate you can put also mid ordinate like 0.001 press ok and now you can see it will ask for select object so now i want to select this object as my boundary line of my surface so when you will select this surface you will see this line will be finish click and now you can see here it has been finish so our new so is something wrong here we need to add we need to do it again with this line actually our uh, boundary line of surface uh, is inside of our retaining wall so these all contour has been uh, manipulating with this retaining wall because if this retaining wall elevation is 2 meter high from our surface and 1 meter high from our uh, step number 2 so if we go inside here with any uh, boundary line then it will finish our surface from here to here to cut our surface like this so we, we must need to stay out from our poly line uh, feature line sorry so now i can put the boundary line into my if you want to make them little bit here you can also do them because going 
out so I will leave them and go to the boundaries and head then press ok select this line and now you can see here another polyline uh, another boundary line has been finished and now we have here so now here we have new surface which was before the boundary line was here but now here we have our boundary line when you select your surface you can see the boundary line of your wall and your surface actually so i will draw a polyline here when you will zoom and you can see that i want to make some offset with this line uh, which i want 0 0.0 0 0.01 just for verticality okay now we have here this polyline and i will convert this polyline into a feature line press that and press enter and uh, side should be c wall if you will put this feature line into another side then it will not interact with the our surface and you need to put them in a one side so style i don't need to use any site any name you can leave name at it is and uh, assign elevation check ok and now i want to put my this feature line or you can say i want to put my c wall on my surface from the front side of wall that's why i will select from surface from surface means that our line will get elevation automatically from our surface which will match to get proposed surface so I'm not going for elevation now I will go from surface and uh, click OK it will give elevation of this line from our surface if you want to see and edit some elevation you can select this line and go to elevation editor now you can see uh, it's take elevation from uh, ah sorry it's take elevation from our C wall surface but I want to get uh, the elevation from existing surface so we need to go back and again feature line create object select this line and press enters side will be c wall and assign elevation press ok and now you can see here we have from surface we have two surface so before i was select c wall which was wrong so i need because i need this line on my uh, surface one which is our existing surface select and press ok now select this line and go to elevation editor you will see here we have elevation like 31 32 and something like that they all are changed because our surface our line is interacting with our surface when surface will go up it will go up when surface will go down it will go down so make corrections here and then press escape for now i will put this line into my surface to get vertical c wall here select this line and go to add to surface as break lines now when you will go add to surface as break line it will show you also to surface which you want to put you need to select i want to put this feature line into c wall surface so i will select c wall and press ok and then description or mid ordinary you can change i will leave the mat it is and now you can see is create some more feature uh, uh, contours here but you can't see here in the top view that's why you must need to select them you need to select your surface and grading then go to object viewer 
and now you can see it's vertical fine it's interacting uh, it it is whichever with our existing surface you can see here you can see clearly it's vertical so because our front of wall will be look like that So, if we have something wrong here, then you can go back and select your feature line, which we have actually here, and then go to elevation editor. You can see here something uh, wrong with some elevations. Uh, 31 32 33 and 32 so they i think they are fine there's not any uh, big mistake so we can leave them at it is so our one wall has been ready and we can get cut and fit volume for this wall and everything else accordingly but we need to draw another three walls first then we go for cut and fill uh, at the end i will just go to the prospector and uh, go to the surface surface one i want to show that and uh, want to see how it's going I want to see them together select them and go to object viewer now you can see better your retaining wall which is vertical from the front end uh, matching down from the back with our existing surface but something you can see here we have um, some gaps between our existing surface and proposed surface so we need to match them here so we will use transition command here for matching them each other go to the commands create transitions and it will also select the feature i will select feature and uh, so it will be stash m sign elevation okay and uh, i want to assign elevation them from surface one because i want to go to a day to get transition between surface one and uh, my proposed surface so now it's saying continue grading without feature line beating yes uh, you need to select them and select the grading side here select start point yes it's showing station of your line press enter and now it is asking for cut format you need to put slope if i want one and two yes press enter and for fill slope yes i need that and uh, select the end point ah it's hang again because we have now two surfaces if you have many more surface and you are drawing or you have big uh, surface with millions of points then it will hang your computer for some time select end point here and you will confirm your station again slope 
present uh, slope for fill also present uh, and you can see it has been draw your matching portion so press escape to get out from your site so it's draw just a feature line so now we go to add to surface a feature line i want to add this feature line in my c wall yes okay and now you can see we have our surface here select them again again object viewer you must need to go with them many times to see your surface and get better product so we are matching our surface with the existing ground in one and two slope which is very steep but uh, it can be you can change them in one and three or four you must need to match this side also but it's already i think fine so we will leave them at it is hope you like this session also press escape to clear the selections and uh, we have three more valve if i will suggest that uh, if you have time you watch my decision again and again and what you then you need to draw these three lines with yourself it will uh, get you practice and it will give you more information but if you have any question or anything else then you can get to me uh, otherwise you can let me know i will draw another three lines also Okay, uh, goodbye.